Facebook and YouTube fans, it is time for the Manufacturer Showcase brought to you by DX Engineering. This is a show where we feature over 180 different manufacturers that we represent here at DX Engineering. Today, we're on with Andy Mitchell, Victor Alpha 3, Charlie Whiskey from Flex Radio. Hello, Andy. Good afternoon, Tim. Andy, just... Uh, to make sure that all of our viewers are up to speed on what's going on with DX Engineering and Flex Radio. Give us the Flex Radio side. Well, Tim, the Flex Radio side, we, uh, we had an exciting announcement uh, at the end of August. We uh, announced to, uh, to the world that we've entered into a partnership that has DX Engineering distributing our Flex 8000 series products and accessories. And that allows our customers to, uh, to certainly purchase through DX Engineering, but more importantly, and I suppose somewhat selfishly for us, it uses uh, Flex's, uh, Flex's brand through the very effective sales channel and engagement channel with DX Engineering. And uh, Tim, I, I've got to tell you, I, I met with uh, with two of your team members this morning. Uh, it, it's been a roaring success so far. Yeah, it, it really has created a lot of buzz within the amateur radio community. And uh, we are so excited to be a part of that buzz. Um, Andy, let's talk about what radios are available at DX Engineering today, and what does the future look like? Tim, what radios? Well, I mentioned the Flex 8000 series. So that would include the Flex 8400, the Flex 8400M, the Flex 8600, and the Flex 8600M. These are, these are really flagship radios, Tim. And along with those radios, we're offering uh, through DX Engineering the Maestro. And this would be, if some of you are familiar with Maestro, this would be the Maestro C, the most recent version. So uh, a lot of uh, a lot of Flex product sitting on the shelf, ready to go. Uh, you place the order today; it can ship tonight, and. Uh, you know, the, uh, this, this is really, really strong when it comes to uh, performance of these radios. And let's talk a little bit about the future as well. Sure, Ken. Well, I, uh, I, I would re be remiss if I didn't mention Aurora. So there's the future. We, uh, we were excited at Dayton to announce the, uh, the Aurora product. Aurora is the 500 watt radio with everything in a single chassis, one box, 500 watts, 18 pounds. We believe it's a game changer. And certainly through technology, the uh, amplifier technology, we're able to achieve that. We're able to get the power supply for the radio into that single box. We're able to get a 500 watt antenna tuner into that single box. We really think this is gonna be a a game changer, Dan. And, you know, um, I know that, uh, you know, the announcement in Dayton and all of the, uh, the all of the hype surrounding Aurora, what do you think, uh, is, what, what are your best estimates now on when radio will ship and, and how is it coming along? Let me tackle how is it coming along first. It's coming along famously, Tim, and we've got a, a number of units already through production and into the hands of uh, some of our alpha team internally. It's uh, It's been working quite well for us at demos. Uh, this past weekend, I was in Naperville, Illinois for W9DXCC. Had an opportunity to uh, demonstrate it to uh, attendees there. Our, uh, our 500 watt uh, brick on key demo was uh, was well received. The, uh, the radio is being put through its paces by my colleague VA3MW Mike uh, in a variety of different operating environments. Importantly, uh, we've also been putting the radio through its paces for 
for certification. Uh, these would be safety tests, emission tests, and, and so forth. And uh, all, uh, all signals point to we're on track for a Q4 startup for, uh, for shipping. What we did, Tim, we had a, a reservation system in place for uh, for purchases of Aurora Radio. So basically, you would be uh, joining either Group 1, Group 2, or Group 3. So Group 1 uh, reservations are, are now, as I mentioned, on track for Q4. Uh, our group 2 will follow. Uh, we estimate that should take place in Q1 2026, and then Group 3 after Group 1 and, and 2 are, are, are finished. So what we're hoping to be able to do is wrap that up sooner than later and, uh, of course, offer that opportunity to uh, e extend Aurora product sales to, uh, to our friends at DX Engineering and ultimately uh, their, their customer segment. Right. So why don't you talk a little bit about the feature set of Aurora that is uh, coming very soon? A, a lot of the feature set, I, I think, from uh, from a smart SDR perspective, will be familiar to, uh, to those who are used to uh, smart SDR for for example, for the 6000 series. But if you uh, if you haven't experienced that, some key features of Aurora that uh, that are shared with those products, uh, fully remote capability, uh, completely uh, HF SDR from start to finish. So that's a, a, a direct sampling, full SDR transceiver. What sets this apart, Aurora from the, uh, the traditional uh, 6,000 and 8,000 series is the possibility of operating at 500 watts. And I think the other the other meaningful piece here is it weighs 18 pounds. And uh, that means you can take this where you are. Uh, it doesn't mean that you need to, to pack an amplifier, uh, a tuner, power supply, and radio. You pack one box and, and off you go. Uh, Aurora also offers the, uh, the the option of having a display. All right. So if you are more comfortable with knobs, dials, and display, a pan adapter, that's available as well on the M models of Aurora. So that would be the, uh, the AU510M or the AU520M. We, uh, we, we support... Uh, the opportunity to use uh, transverters, which are uh, 8000 series do as well. Uh, I'm kind of bouncing around on some of these features as I, I start to think about use cases. Uh, I see here, Tim, you, you've got uh, integrated GNSS receiver. Well, that's pretty cool too, because if you happen to be operating somewhere where you don't have internet, for example, and you need to time sync because you're going to operate FT8, that GNSS receiver provides the opportunity to have uh, a network time server application run in the radio. So you can sync your, uh, your digital programming to the network time server. No, th these are all great features. And I think that uh, we're gonna find that um, as, uh, as the radios come out in the fourth quarter into uh, next year, the acceptance by the amateur community is gonna be really, really strong and um, Certainly, uh, uh, looking forward to uh, you know continued updates, Andy, as things go along, and uh, getting some interactions from customers as well, um, and obviously you know getting this in the hands of Rob Sherwood, so that um, he can uh, take a look. And uh, a lot of folks have asked me, you know, how do how do we think Aurora is going to stack up on the Sherwood uh, receiver reports? Um, you know. Uh, what about um, uh, things like uh, uh, enhanced SSB mode, you know, for the transmitter? Um, uh, also, you know, pre-distortion, those sorts of things, uh, hot topics that are going on with some of the other manufacturers. So um, we look forward to those reports as well. Um, you know, let's, let's talk about uh, uh, the expectations, too, of uh, how customers interact between Flex and DX Engineering. It has been just virtually seamless so far. It's really gone well, Andy. 
I, I think so, Tim. And the feedback from your team members this morning echoes that. What uh, what we've done, and, and I, I would say very uh, circumspect and, and thoughtfully, has been to uh, to position ourselves in the customer's shoes. So if you are purchasing from DX Engineering, you are fully aware of stock levels as a customer, how much you're going to pay to get it on your doorstep and when it's going to arrive on your doorstep. You've also got the, uh, the experience and the expertise of the, uh, the sales team at DX Engineering as, uh, as pre-sales support. If you have specific use cases, you're a little unsure about how you're going to integrate this or implement this in your existing operating uh, habits or environment, uh, we certainly uh, avail all of our resources to DX Engineering and DX Engineering's customers. That includes our community, community.flexradio.com, uh, also our, our pre-sales uh, phone support, and a uh, myriad of documents and uh, well, uh, well thought out videos that cover everything from taking this product out of the box and putting it on on the air to, wow, I've got some very unique uh, application I want to, to get busy with. And, you know, that could be uh, one of my favorites. Let's uh, let's get busy on, on RTTY. How do I get RTTY going on, on a flex? How do I integrate that uh, with N1MM? And how can I have fun contesting with it? Because we are on the precipice of contest season. Um, Andy, uh, we have a question from... Um... Uh, Andy, about uh, how about AM? Uh, how about the AM mode uh, with the Aurora? AM mode's going to be supported. Uh, I would uh, I, I would recommend if you were interested and you don't already check our Facebook page out where Mike Walker, VA three MW, my colleague, has put the Aurora through its bases for uh, for AM for sideband uh, for CW and, and some uh, some other neat. Uh, neat uh, demos that would be a, a, a good thing to do fully supported right. uh, synchronous am it's, it's and that's right off the web uh the website uh for flex radio that would be follow our facebook page for for that demo information so this is right. a kind of mike's out of the box demo as opposed to okay. an instructional video okay very Hope good that's so, helps, Andy. please Flex Radio on Facebook, and uh, look for the uh, uh, the update that uh, Mike uh, gives as well. So, um, Andy, thank you so much for coming on today, and uh, this is going to be a regular thing with us. Obviously, as we go down the road of uh, sales support for the Flex product, and as more and more customers engage with both of us. And uh, I want to thank you once again for your help in making this partnership uh, really, really special. We'd like to thank you, Tim, and, and your team as well, and the DX Engineering customer community. This has been a, a very exciting journey. And I, Tim, I, I think uh, by the time Friday rolls around, it'll be about a month since the announcement and uh, the results. The results are very encouraging. I'm uh, I'm certainly very pleased by what we've seen. And as always, an absolute pleasure to work with you and, and your team. Thanks for that opportunity. And thanks to all of you for watching today. I hope you learn more about Flex Radio and DX Engineering. And we'll see you next time here at DX Engineering. Until then, 73. 73. See you in the pipeline.